Hello, my name is Mauricio Sulaiman. I am the president of the World Boxing Council. And here I am trying my first podcast uh, for the WBC. Of course, there's a very hot topic this week. Uh, the fight between Haney against Garcia. An unbelievable event which has a whole world talking about this fight and there's so many things surrounding for good and for bad. Uh, it all began when the fight was announced, the WBC super lightweight title between Devin Haney, our champion, Ryan Garcia, uh, a very highly regarded challenger, our former uh, lightweight interim champion, and um, a long rivalry between these two young fighters, both 25 year old, they fought in the amateur six times, three and three, uh, they've been meaning to fight each other for some years, and now destiny brought them to go into the ring together. Many things have happened uh, ever since the initial press conference, which I attended in New York City. There was a, a immediate, uh, clear, bad blood between them, the words and the accusations and the so many threats uh, were evident in New York, but it was a normal press conference. I flew back to Mexico. They flew to Los Angeles to do the Los Angeles uh, press conference. And that's when everything turned into a very complicated situation in all different aspects. Uh, Golden Boy Promotions, Devin Haney Promotions, Matchroom, The Zone, Barclay Center, uh, the WBC, of course, the New York State Athletic Commission, everyone involved in the event in one way or another uh, began a journey that uh, was very complicated for all of us. Uh, social media plays an unbelievable role in today's life. It is incredible how you are valued for the amount of followers that you have. You are valued for the amount of uh, likes that you have. And... Uh, it is uh, a very thin line between what is correct and acceptable and what is not. Uh, there's a life, a new world in which many things are popular, not necessarily correct, and uh, not necessarily in line to a code of ethics that sports, that uh, society accept and uh, can in one way or another uh, support or not. Uh, Devin Haney uh, has had a marvelous career. He began with the WBC from day one. Uh, he has been a very good champion for the WBC and I am very proud of him. He made weight, he sacrificed, he did everything possible and he accepted to go into the ring after Ryan Garcia did not make weight. Ryan, on the other hand, um, he did not make weight and he did not attempt to make the weight. He accepted the penalties and went into the ring and had the fight of his life, a tremendous performance. Um, it was a fight that you can divide in two sides, the first half and the second half. Uh, Devin Haney clearly won uh, at least five of, of the six first rounds and he seemed to be on a way for a easy decision win when he was caught in the seventh round badly hurt knocked down then he was knocked down against in the 10th and 11th and uh, he made such a dramatic event uh, the underdog won he became a hero and the result is that uh, boxing was in the limelight and is still in the limelight from a dramatic fight when someone that is not expected to win, who is against all odds, comes out and, and becomes the victor, it becomes uh, a special story. I do want to discuss a few things. Um, the referee, Harvey Duck, who is a sensational top class official, had a very difficult ha fight in his hands. He was complicated. Uh, there were many instances in which in which he lost control of the fight, but it was a difficult task. And um, 
there are some situations that need to be addressed. The rabbit punching, the extreme holding, the reaction on this position, like uh, Ryan Garcia did in turning the back, and a few other things. Uh, at the end, uh, Harvey Duck is a very good referee, and uh, it was a tough, tough fight to referee. Uh, regarding the judging, the scores, this is the perfect example on how to analyze what is happening in the scoring of fights. We're very concerned, as we have seen many split decisions, many controversial scores, one judge going this way, the other one this way. And uh, if we analyze this fight, round one easily goes to Garcia. He hurt Haney uh, in the first uh, 30 seconds of the fight, and he wins the round clearly. Two, three, four, five, all for Haney, but without any drama, without any consequences. There was no hurting, no real strong punches with a, uh, only in the third round there was a nice left hook. But those rounds go clearly for Haney. And then the sixth is a round for the experts. Seven round, there's a knockdown uh, with a point deduction, anyone can score. Round eight and nine, round for the experts. 10 and 12, clear knockdowns, clear domination, anyone can score. And the 12 round is also a round for the experts. So out of, the, out of the 12 rounds, we can have four rounds that are for analysis. Uh, two of the judges gave the eighth and the ninth board to, to uh, Ryan Garcia. And it seems to be an effect of what happened in the seventh round. So this is a topic for another time we will be analyzing, but uh, it is not easy to be a judge. It is a complicated fact. And there is a big, big difference between the top level ring officials and the ring officials and the judges that are good enough, but need that expertise and, and experience to be in the major fights. I am very proud of Devin Haney. He was such a brave fighter, a champion. He was hurt and he continued to fight and survived, weather the storm and finish a fight uh, which was uh, lost by a split decision. But uh, I'm, I'm happy and proud for him. Uh, he made weight, as I said, and he went on with the fight. He carried on and uh, demonstrated tremendous heart and great class after the fight. As far as Ryan, he's a very dear fighter, dear, dear friend. He has had mental wellness issues. We have been together many, many times throughout the process. I'm happy for him for the great victory. Uh, it's a redemption for his career. It's a new beginning. However, um, I invite uh, Ryan, we need to sit down, we need to talk. Uh, there are so many things that you can do well, that you can influence the kids and be a great role model. And uh, there's too much, the hat of a fighter, of a champion, and the hat of a influencer in social media. Uh, but now, when you are in the big list, you have to understand that with pride, with glory, with fame and money comes responsibility and the great opportunity to lead for the good. You have three kids and you want those kids to be proud of you. I am very proud of you. You, you mean very well in many instances. It is just a matter to get uh, into a position that you can feel comfortable being a role model for the world. Um, I'd like to congratulate Oscar de la Hoya, Eric Gomez from Golden Boy and their team. Uh, of course, Devin Haney Promotions, uh, Papa Haney, Bill Haney and the team, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn and his team, the Barclays Center, The Zone, who had a sensational uh, broadcast. And uh, overall, a great event is going to be discussed for a long time. And just to make everything clear, Devin Haney is a WBC Super Lightweight Champion because the rules are very clear. If the champion makes weight, the challenger does not make weight, 
the challenger cannot win the title. If the champion does not make weight, he immediately loses the title. And the challenger, if he makes weight and wins the fight, becomes the new champion. Uh, Ryan Garcia did not make weight. Uh, Devin did. They fought over the weight. And the, the rules are clear. We did this with Castillo and Corrales in the second bout. And there's precedent, so there's no confusion, just to have to read a little bit of the rules, be familiar. And uh, I feel a nice and strong with Devin Haney taking the fight, giving a lot of advantage in weight. And there was uncertainty for such a long time whether there was going to be a fight or not. Mental games by Ryan Garcia, maybe. Was this Duran Leonard number one? Maybe. But I'm sure boxing won. Uh, there's many great things to do in lightweight, super lightweight, welterweight for all the fighters. It, these are exciting times for boxing. And I'm very thankful for your time, for listening to this podcast. And I will see you in the next one. See you later. Mauricio Sulaiman, WBC, at WBC Boxing, at WBC Moro. Thank you very much. <laughs>